Hare Krishna. Every Saturday, I'm helping to do a live stream for the Gurukul. And I try to get some shots today. How was the morning? You took shower, cold shower? Yes, that was nice. Nice cold shower. How was he, Bakte? How was Vamana? Vamana, Vamana was good. Yeah, you woke I, up immediately? I was I was still in my bed when uh, I saw him already fully dressed up. Really? Yeah. He woke up the first or what? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. No? Not the first one? Hey Kripa, here yeah, he is the one. He's the he's Kripa Prabhu, he's taking care of the YouTube channel of Gurukul. He's a former student and now we do every Saturday live stream. Uh, you would like to invite people to live stream? Uh, yes, please come watch every Saturday 5.30 Indian time. You can join in, it's a very nice experience. Very serene, sattvic, mahayagya we do here in Gurukul. Yeah, yeah, it's always a very special experience to be here in the morning. So this is Gurukul, this is my, one of my favorite places in, in Mayapur. It's just so beautiful here. The whole atmosphere is very special. You're making a video now. Life is about solving problems. Don't be an illusion, it could be different. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you hungry. That's a problem. Then you're tired, you need a bed, you need a home, it's a problem. So, just maintaining this bo body is a constant problem solving. You need some money, you know, then things breaks, breaking, you need to fix that one. I try to fix the GoPro on the bike. To first I try to just put it here, but it doesn't work. Then I try to put a stick here. It kind of was okay. And then during the drive it was good. But we have two bumpy roads. But actually, as soon as you solve problems, you kind of feel satisfied. That's my conclusion. First you're always like annoyed, ah, oh, this has come, this is coming up, this is coming up, I have to do this, I have to solve that, I have to do that. But actually it's like performing duties. When you perform your duties, when you perform, you know, whatever comes and you have to deal with th things, whatever comes in your life and we deal with it and if you do it, afterwards you actually feel more satisfied. So, you know, it's, it's a way of, of Krishna to make us responsible and do whatever is needed and necessary, and do it and then you become satisfied. Now, I put here some duct tape, it's already going better. It'll be alright, you will see. So now, 
second. Do it like this. I'm going to pick up our milk. I like your head. Yeah, it's, it's from my It's for a donation. <laughs> from my zone. You see how how green this is? This is old grass and it is the best for this season for the cows. It grows only in the cold. When it becomes warm, it's not going. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the milk. Very right. good. Guten Appetit. We are invited for a pizza party. Pizza party. Thanks pizza for party. <laughs> Looks good. So, Divi, you have a, you have a special remembrance on this on this Sheila here? <laughs> yes, I have. He went uh, with us on honeymoon. He went, he, he went with us on honeymoon? Yeah, we made, a, we made with Varaha and Nikunja, we made our honeymoon trip up to Badrinath and we stopped at each Koryak. went with us and based also in each kayak. Very sweet. All the time I see him, I remember this trip. Sangha. Sangha means people come together with the purpose to encourage each other in Krishna consciousness. Here in Srida Mayapur, we have a lot of Sanghas. We have the 64 Rounders Club or the Bhaktivino Thakur Song Sangha. There is a youth Sangha and many kids Sanghas. There are Kirtan Sanghas and at least 108 Sanghas I'm not aware of. I'm on my way to my ladies Sangha. One and a half years ago a lady started the Sangha and we're reading together Mahatma Prabhu's book Living the Wisdom of Bhakti. Today we have a special celebration because this one and a half years is a big milestone for us. You hear? Nice Kirtan. Look what's there! <laughs>
Stop it, brother. 